tomorrow. But uh, this is your stock, so let's uh, kick start and solve a lot of your queries. Joining us on the show today, we have Meghna V. Malkan of MalkansView.com to answer all your stock specific queries. And we have Hemant Rustagi of Wise Invest Advisors, who is our personal finance expert as well. So uh, we'll get to the queries in a bit. First up, we have uh, Parasini, who writes in to us from Nagpur. She wants to know which is the best ELSS plan or equity linked savings scheme that she can invest into. She is 45 years old and is a professional. So we only have these details. Uh, Hemant, what would your own recommendation be? I think the first thing I would say that, uh, you know, ELS is a great option for someone, you know, who wants to uh, save taxes and also want to participate in the growth of the equity market. And, you know, another good thing about ALSS is that the lock-in period is only uh, three years. So the best thing is that, you know, if you can make this as a part of your overall asset allocation, I think it can be really a, a great option. Uh, there are two funds that I will recommend for him. Uh, you know, one is uh, Reliance Equity Tax Saver, you can look at, and the other one is Access Long-Term Equity Fund. So out of these two, he can invest one, but it depends on the amount. If he's investing, let's say, one and a half lakh rupees, then maybe he can divide it into two. But another good thing I want to add here is that it's good that he's thinking of investing in this at the beginning of the year. You know, when you invest in an asset class like equity and you plan at the beginning of the financial year, you have an opportunity to invest every month through SIP, which means that you can actually, you know, take the advantage of volatility in the marketplace and benefit from averaging. So I would say I think he has made the right choice. He should look at these two funds for investment. All right, Parasini, I hope you were listening to that. That's good advice that has come in from Hemant. Up next, uh, Monica Joshi calls in from Pune. Hi, Monica. Uh, hi, Sumera. Hi, uh, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, I have a question on uh, Madhas and Sumi. Okay, oh, hi. But uh, this is uh, our uh, stock query segment. So let's get uh, someone uh, who writes into us from Mumbai. Nikhil has written to us. He says he can invest 10,000 rupees per month. Okay, this is a personal finance query, and he wants to know if this is the right time to invest in mutual funds. If yes, which ones should he be choosing? He's a long-term investor, and he's only 27 years old and is a professional. Uh, Himan, the good part is that at a very young age, he you know, has the wisdom to invest into mutual funds. What would your recommendation be to someone like him? We don't know what his uh, previous or other investments are, uh, but given that he has a minimum amount that he wants to put in, what mutual fund schemes would you advise? Well, I think Sonia, as you rightly said, one, he's, he's quite young and, you know, his time horizon, he said he wants to invest for long term. Another important factor is that he can invest every month. Uh, so, you know, my recommendation would be that he should take the mutual fund route and, you know, in, in invest through, uh, you know, SIP in well diversified equity fund. Yes, equity as an asset class, you know, tend to be volatile in medium to short term. But I think the, the best thing is when you invest in a disciplined manner is that you actually, you know, invest at different levels of the market and you benefit from averaging. And the fact that he will be investing on a monthly basis, I don't think you really need to worry about the volatility in the market. In fact, if he follows the disciplined approach, he will benefit from this volatility. So, so, so my view is that he should straight away go and start investing. Uh, for an investment of 10,000 rupees, I would recommend uh, three funds, which will have a good mix of large cap and mid cap and small cap stocks. He can look at IDFC Premier Equity. He can invest uh, 4,000 rupees in that. He can invest 3,000 rupees in Birla Sun Life Equity Fund, which is a pure uh, large cap fund. And he can invest uh, 3,000 rupees in Reliance Equity Opportunity. So this combination will give him, like I said, a well-balanced portfolio, slightly higher exposure to large cap, and then around, maybe around 60-40% uh, in large and mid cap. All right, Nikhil, I hope you were listening to that. But let's uh, get to answering some of our queries. M. Kumar has called in from Patna. Hi. Yeah. Mr. Kumar? Yeah, I'm online. Hi, go ahead. What's your question, sir? Uh, my question is that I want to get a health insurance policy for my family okay. and myself mm -hmm. and I would to know which one would be the best one and should I go ahead the critical illness plan for my parents or that would only for me because premium is getting higher for them. Okay. And uh, the, you're looking at investing 10 lakhs? Yeah, around 10 lakhs. So which would be uh, an annual premium that you're looking at? Uh, annual premium around uh, 45, 40,000. Okay, so basically the quantum of the health insurance you're looking for is 10 lakhs, right? Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, Hemant, uh, he says he is okay with paying a premium of 40 to 50,000 rupees a month and is looking for a health insurance cover, uh, you know, roughly about 10 lakhs. And the, his, the other part of his question is that uh, should he, as the primary earning member of the family, look for a critical illness cover as well? 
So, well, I would say, you know, health insurance, where we always maintain that is an integral part of the financial planning process, especially when we talk about the risk management. So, I think uh, he's doing the right thing by thinking in terms of uh, buying a health insurance policy. I mean, as far as his family is concerned, my, my belief is that, you know, he should go for individual policy for his parents uh, rather than going for, uh, you know, family floater plan. Uh, which will be apt because, you know, as the age advances, you know, you will require more uh, uh, coverage, so which a uh, family floater may not be able to give. So I think the recommendation would be that he should go for individual plans. A uh, couple of plans that I'm recommending uh, uh, for him, one is he can look at Optima Restore of Apollo Munich and Heartbeat Gold of Max Pupa. Uh, critical illness definitely I think is very, very important because, uh, you know, the good thing about that is if something happens for the, il if the, for the illness that which are covered in the critical illness policy, you know, you get a lump sum, so yes, I think it will be a good idea to include the critical illness in that. All right, uh, well, uh, we'll have to thank uh, both of you for joining us and taking us through all the personal finance and stock-specific queries. We have uh, one stock that's in focus now. Escorts has been surging. The stock, uh, the company has entered into a joint venture with the Amul Group.